Arkansas, while their offense has been really good, they have their hands full today with Paul Skeens. First pitch. There we go, a hundy. So let's start him with a hundred and see how we go from there. Mm. Two down. You see that velo? Yeah. Skeens. That one's lifted in the air, a little pop-up in shallow center. Dylan Cruz will make the catch in a quick one, two, three start. Just nine pitches for Skeens. Ground ball, backhanded and bobbled. No throw. Right back to the pitcher. Holland will go to second. They get the out there and they'll make a quick throw and not in time. White beats that. But they do get the lead out in Cruz and there's two down. I like that from Hunter Holland. So there's a little bit of athleticism. I'm, I'm going to the ball game. A little blooper right side. Who's going to make the play? Slavens will. Hey everyone, Wheels here letting you know that I made a video for the new game MLB The Show 23. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, be sure to check it out. Two-way players. Oh, there he is. That's just not even fair. Another quick inning for Skeens. 99 miles an hour past Diggs. Six up, six down for LSU. The one-two on the way. Got him. Went upstairs, 93 miles an hour, and that is out number two. Now first punch out of the day. First pitch he sees pops him up. Cole, the third baseman, weighs everybody off, makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nice inning. A lot of runs. You got to go out there and try to match him the best you can. First ball off the barrel. There it is, 99. Strikeout number four. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the best sequences in baseball. Oh. Buckled him. Inning is over. Game that was supposed to be played tonight. But weather coming in. Forced us to an early start. Pearson swings and misses. That'll be out number two. Really good breaking ball here by Hunter Holland. Wow. Oh, Nasty. just fantastic work by Huck Hunter Holland. This time turns on one. That's going to drop. It's going to one hop off the wall. Josenberger with some speed will dive into second base. His sixth double of the year. So Skeens will pitch out of the stretch, and he gets this one right past his catcher, Brady Neal, and that will move Josenberger over to third base. So with nobody out, lifts it high in the air. Will this be deep enough? Josenberger on the back. Catch is made there by Joe Bear, and Josenberger will score as the throw. One hops to Brady Neal, and the Hawks have an early one to nothing lead against LSU. Called strike three, Wagner is out. The second out of the inning. Yeah, nothing you can do with this. I mean, you just tip your cap and you, you head back to the dugout. Oh. No walk there, just another strikeout. Another strikeout. White chasing one down in the zone, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Pitch number 61 on the way from Holland. Blasted to center field, deep center field. Josenberger to the track, can't make the catch off the wall. Trey Morgan will round second, he's on his way to third. There will be no throw, a stand-up triple is third of the year. Didn't miss it by much. Oh, the captain is in the house, Captain Morgan. Breaking ball, this one's going to get away. Here comes Morgan to throw home. Holland had plenty of time. Boy, Trey Morgan broke, went back, and then decided to go. They're going to play two tomorrow, two nine-inning games, I guess. Yes. Oh. Skeens, nice breaking pitch, forfeit out. Yeah, and this is the secondary breaking ball now. Swing and a miss. And Cole is out, inning is over. An effective, efficient inning for Paul Skeens. Yes, sir. Or the confidence from Hunter Holland right now. Yeah. Joe Bear didn't like the call. He just continues to spin it. 
inning is over. Hunter Holland, six strikeouts. Boy, Roland, not much of a chance on that breaking ball. That was now that one was 84. Yeah, taking a little bit off. It's definitely a different shape. There's the walk. That'll get some boo birds out. And there is a walk. Boy, how about this? He came in with four walks on the year. And now is posted back to back, -back, -back. walks. Ground ball to the right side. The only play is going to be to first. That'll be the second out of the innings. The runners will move up 90 feet to second and third now. As sharp this inning as it has been the previous innings either. That is another walk. We are seeing something here that just hadn't happened all season. Mm. That one is a call third strike. Slavens doesn't like it. LSU will take it. Skeens bounces off the mound. Line up with Pearson and Cruz. And a good start here is Neal. Gets the base hit to right. And now here come some of the bats. Spun one in there, foul tipped and caught behind the plate by Rowan, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Nice pickup by Rowan behind the plate through this. Got him on a check swing. Two outs. Boy, what a job. What a job out of the bullpen. Lifted in the air off the end of the bat. That could be trouble. Cruz on the run, can't catch up to it. Sixth and doubles in the SEC with 44. Runner goes. Neal pump fakes. His throw is in time. I mean, Neal pump faked and still threw him out. I'm not sure what happened. Brady Neal wanted the interference because he felt like the batter came out in front of him. Pump fake, pump fake. And how about this dart and a really quick tag? I'm not sure he was out, man. That was close. Free passes. One hit by pitch and one walk. And that's where Arkansas has beat LSU. This one's lifted high in the air to left. Brady Neal's watching it go out of here, and we're tied. The freshman has done it. An opposite field homer is second of the year. Come on, kid, now. I know I'm a freshman, but I can swing it, too, sitting down in that nine hole for LSU and just takes a fastball backside and powers it out. To left center field, his second long ball, only his eighth RBI of the year. But watch this swing. This is nice. Inside out swing. Hands go first. Barrel follows it and powers it out. And we are all new here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Well, we have a discussion behind the plate here with Jay Johnson, the home plate umpire. Did LSU get a warning maybe for celebration? Two hits today for Brady Neal, who's having a good time. And that one is laced out to right. Now the Tigers got something going here. Pearson. A little slow chopper. This is going to be a tough play. Cruz flying down the line. He's safe at first. Two on and one out. Base coach should be able to tell you. Slavens backpedals and makes the catch. That's out number two. Oh, they are loaded. Will this stay in play? Cole makes the catch, and the inning is over. Stovall, base hit left center. Nobody out, one on for Arkansas. Yeah. Mm. Oh, busted him on the inside. Part of the plate for the strikeout to end the inning. Did he go? Yes, he did. Strikeout, first out of the inning. 93, foul tipped in the glove. Because the, the breaking ball's been coming into the righties. That ball kind of went away. But whatever it is, LSU can't hit it. I can tell you that. <laughs> Walked him. Walked him on four pitches. Out to center field. Cruz on the run. He's watching it. Get out of here. Three-run homer. Reese Robinette is second of the year. 
and the Arkansas bench erupts. Wow. How about Dave Van Horn? Is he pushing the right buttons today or not? Goes and gets Hagen Smith when it matters. He comes in and punches out two. Right into the fire. Extra innings. SEC play. And he just melts one. Goes down. Sticks his nose on his fastball. And drives it out left center field. For a weaver. A three-run shot. Hogs up four to one now. That one is sliced into left center. Another base hit. Josenberger. Stovall today. Just one hit, one for three, and this one's off the glove of Dugas out into center field. Josenberger will get to third to throw to second, not in time, and now they're second and third with one out for the Hawks. They are now loaded with one out. He hits that one to right center. Can anybody catch up to it? Pearson on the run. That will get a run home on a sacrifice fly, and they'll have him at the corners. Now, so you might as well go ahead and empty the tank on him. Orphan got hit by a pitch. Oh, that ball is blistered. I mean, deep to right. Bye-bye baseball. Number seven for Kendall Diggs. That was a good 15 rows up. Oh, man, did he hammer that. That ball was hit. <laughs> and the sound it made coming off the bat. And Kendall Diggs knew it. The Razorbacks have exploded here in extra innings. I don't think he knew he got that one. He got every stitch of that one. There's a walk with one out to Pearson. That one is blasted out to center field. That is a no doubter. Hmm. Number seven for Dylan Cruz. RBIs 26 and 27. Uh, he's showing you a little bit of everything today. The speed got him a couple of infield base hits. Pitch count not that big a deal to him, although he'd like to have that one back. Had that triple off the center field wall. And then lifts this one out to right field. Borfin, a few steps in. And how about the Arkansas Razorbacks? Come on the road and take down the number one team in America.